Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you say Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes Everyone's going through something that nobody knows Relax, stay in your lane, leave people alone Don't buy a car on a chain when you don't have a home Don't worry about having a lot of friends, you only need one Pussy is cool, what's better is making a dream come Value your time, value your health, value your freedom Fuck where you got your degree from Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you saying Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game Control your emotions, most of the time it's really not worth it Don't be ashamed and beat yourself up for not being perfect Don't be entitled, the world doesn't care if you think you deserve it Don't fall in love with someone until you know I tell down the mile with the bitch, for real. You can't even talk to the bitch, nah. She fucking with boxes and shit. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the latest video. And we are now entering week three of my competition prep. So, mindset right now is very good. Feeling the best I've ever felt. Body weight is staying consistent at 104. Um, but I'm visually getting sharper and visually getting leaner every single day. So, in terms of body composition, the way I look, the way I feel, everything is going really smooth. Probably the best it's been um, in all of my kind of cutting phases. And this will be a legitimate prep phase where I do like a good 12 week prep. Um, if you've been following my journey before, I've never really done a proper competition prep for that extended period of time. Um, it's always been a bit of a crash, crash into the show, bring a bit of physique that's a bit more flatter. I've lost a lot of muscle, but now doing things properly, I feel much better, performance is up, energy is up, and we're staying nice and full and we're only getting sharper. So that is a massive plus. It is my favorite day of the week, so I thought I'd film today. So it's delts and arms. So we're gonna take you through um, a lot of these exercises. So just to run quickly through some of the exercises that we're gonna to include today. We are focusing on that whip, that V taper and that top line. And that's what men's physique is about. Displaying your physique with the smallest waist, the widest shoulders and that aesthetic, you know, powerful stance and build. So to target that today with delts and arms, we are gonna do standing prone lateral raise first. So we're gonna pre-exhaust the shoulders, a great way of isolating the side delts, uh, very strict. And then we're gonna go into a seated machine shoulder press. From there, we're gonna target the pecs and go into a seated D-handle chest press. Um, I am gonna go off plan though and include a different exercise that we don't have at our gym. Um, I'm gonna leave that one for the video. So we do have a few machines here that we can play around with and we can include. Um, we're just not going to tell our coach that because we're just going to throw in three extra sets <laughs> and get away with it. But uh, for the most part, we're sticking to it, but we're just going to kind of switch it up with that um, and stick to the volume throughout the workout. And then from there, we're going to take it to triceps, two exercises on triceps, two working sets each exercise, two exercises on biceps, and then let those recover across the board of the week because we do hit arms a few times, but we just don't go crazy in terms of volume right now. We're just focusing on some heavy top sets. So we're going to run you through the workout. I'm super excited to show you delts and arms and take you through some of the exercises that I do and explain how we're doing them, why we're doing them, and what benefits are that we get from doing these exercises and how they can kind of enhance our physique into what we're trying to show on stage. So uh, we're going to run you through it. We're going to finish up this pre-workout, three scoops, feeling pretty good, ready to go. And uh, I'm going to put some cyclic dextrin in my intra shake. So that's 25 grams of carbs. Just a really good fast acting soluble carb that gets digested and uh, you know strains the muscle and keeps us fueled and anabolic and ready to kill a session for a long extended period of time because these sessions are not an hour, they're like two hours um, and there's a lot of exercises to get through. So you need that sustained energy, you need that sustained performance throughout the exercise, throughout the workout, sorry. So I'm gonna run you through it. Without further ado, we're gonna drink this and then we're gonna get to our first exercise. And in terms of this year, I just think this is like the best year um, in terms of setup, in terms of physique, and in terms of mindset. So I do believe this is the year, and this is the year we're gonna solidify it. So let's get to it, guys. You wearing the cost shit. Yeah. 
Mont Club, yeah. Furkin' my for Bell, yeah. Yeah. Triple homicide, put me in a chair, yeah. Triple across the floor, we do not play fair, yeah. God. Got them tennis chains on, and they real blingy bling. Draco make you do the chicken head like ching. Right, guys, so standing prone dumbbell lateral raise. So I'm going to use an incline bench. And I'm going to place the incline bench in a, basically a 90 degree position so that I can rest my torso on the bench and not swing and jerk and cheat with the dumbbells. Because a lot of people will do side raises and as they start to fail, they'll start to do this, this. And really you want to be slightly forward, drive out and wide and control that negative really slow. We don't want to see any jerking, we don't want to see any swinging. And basically, the 90 degree incline bench is going to keep us in a fixed position and keep that torso from moving. And it's all just going to be stress on the medial delt. So that's the, the intention here is to put as much stress and as much tension and time under tension on that medial delt as we do the exercise. We don't want to swing, we don't want to jerk. We just want to use the muscle to do the work. So we've got four sets, failing in the rep range rates 12. This is the first working set of the four. I've done two warm ups, two feeders, and we're just going to get it and we're just going to get some big side delts. So, Let's take it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shooters ready to gun you down. Yeah, 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 dog. Yeah, not for real, dog. Twenty-one. Ready. So as you saw there, guys, I got to twelve, and then I had at least two more in the tank, so I made sure I got fourteen reps. And then I completed an extra three partials just to take it to failure. But with bearing that in mind, I'm now going to increase the weight gradually and take those other sets to, a, to failure at a heavier load and use heavier weight to overload that muscle. So the rep range is not set in stone. You might get to 12 and then you might have three in the tank. So don't be worried about then taking that set to 15. Um, but just be mindful of that as you progress into your next top sets or your next working sets and increase that load as you go. You know, don't cheat yourself. Um, from getting like maximum load on that muscle but make sure we're super strict with the form and make sure we're not compromising our forms not compromised if we are increasing the weight over time Pull up on your bitch. She say that I got a ruler dick. Spray your block down. We not really with that ruler shit. Glock cock now. I don't really get no fuck out. Also, guys, another thing to be mindful of is when you're on the negative of the rep, a lot of individuals will take the rep down all the way to the bottom and then they'll let the tension go off the side out. And because we're not using cables, there isn't constant tension. Um, on the side delt as the cable would consistently keep tension on it. With the dumbbells, gravity's pulling the weight down and you've got to kind of create that tension on the negative. So just before the tension goes, roughly here, this much away from the torso, I'm going to drive that dumbbell back up and keep constant tension on the muscle. That is crucial when thinking about time and the tension and wanting to get the most out of each set. You've got to make sure you're consistently keeping tension on the muscle. We're not letting off the gas. We're not resting at the bottom. We're constantly keeping tension from this position and we're driving up and out. We're not going too high because we don't want to incorporate the traps. So we're just going to parallel nice and wide. Thinking about the side delt, thinking about that cap of the side delt and then bringing it back down with a three second negative, controlling it to the best of your ability and then driving that load back up to the contracted position. So always bear that in mind and take that into account when you're doing side raises. No play with the legacy, have it much grace, can a ref be trap in the sport. Uh, go back to the base, connect with the zones. Then we we'll take out in New York. I'm leaving the scene, I'm peeping the scene. And Rory got too many hearts. Hold out a scheme and turn off the demons. We make it run at the office. My friend Bentley cool, I adapted. A lot of commas and dramas on mad rich. 40 pointers on me like a bad bitch. Did my numbers, my coop is a gadget. Ripping that bird like a maniac. Yeah. Young nigga asking for Zanny at. Slide, what I'm up, hell on that. I'm in the spot with a Grammy at. I been that nigga and hand me down. Numero uno millennium. Turn out the zoo like a Jimmy them. They lick up the strikers, don't hear me them. 
I turn every bitch into a pop star. I'm in my glow. I had swagger. I've been one of none, y'all. When I was poor, cash on me. I cash out on channel one and I can show it. Bash me like I'm not a big dog. I just throw it on a scatty pet. Right, guys, so exercise number two of delts and arms. And we've got the seated, plate loaded, shoulder press machine. So, this is our heaviest compound of this session. You know, we can really overload the delts here with a lot of weight. With this exercise, very simple, very basic, but just to give you a little bit of a pointer, with this, I like to go, I don't want to go too wide, I don't want to go too close, so I'm compromising, you know, the upper chest and stuff like that, we're getting quite tight there. I'm thinking about putting my hand on my wrist, and my uh, elbow and bicep perpendicular on each side, so I can get that nice press, and we're pressing through the delts, and obviously you're going to get a little bit of chest and a little bit of triceps into play, but I'm really thinking about controlling the weight with my delts. Um, I'm not going to rush the movement, I'm going to take my time and have two minute rest in between sets and really just go when I'm ready so I can get maximum load and really get the most out of this exercise for my delts. Because um, a lot of the other movements are isolation movements, um, are side raise movements, things like that. And this is our main compound. So we're going to try and take it as heavy as possible. I have been going up to like 70 kilos. Um, that's with a spotter though, I'll go to 80 kilos for like three. Um, but I do really want to stick between the six to eight rep range. So I'm going to take this set now to roughly 12 to 15, and then we'll kind of bump it up for a top set and then maybe do a back off. So we're on our third set of shoulder press now. So I'm going up to 60 kilos. This is going to be basically a feeder into my working set. Um, so I'm not going to take this to failure. I'm just going to let the muscles feel this set out. I'm going to feel this set out, see how it feels. I'm going to probably go to like eight reps, but not go to failure. And then for my top set, I can push it and do 70 kilos for reps all the way to the failure. So these feeder sets, they don't have to be to failure. Um, we're going to do an all-out set, and then we're going to back off and go to failure again with the same intensity, but with less weight. So let's get it, guys. Let's get these delts. Big set. This is it. See ya. Fuck the witness, back conditions. Grab a biscuit, don't be a statistic. Came off the mission, high definition I bought my left wrist a faucet My ring cost is pink like an ostrich I feel lost, this bitch got herself hostage I done got exhausted, running through the money Oh, hundreds, I need to spin cause they don't print no more Be a mono, go to court cause I won't fuck her no more You not a wifey, I can't fall in love no more Stop doing Miley in the ecstasy, I'm right back on it. Cash my special cloth, I got diamonds on. Ooh, bags of cash like I'm serving fed or no. Killers walk with me, I don't need a bodyguard. I got all kind of hoes international. Sandro, pay PJ, flight that hoe. Right wrist froze like I got an ice pack on it. Get a nigga smoke, bite it like a bomba clock. Drug dealers and scammers will never harm my son. They be right there with me. Shooters right there with me. See, 500 shots in VIP. When I'm in. Told the waitress, don't drink liquor, I drink lean. Hey. So, exercise number three of this workout is going to be a seated D handle cable chest press. So, I really like to utilize this movement to fire up the pecs, and sometimes I'll do this to pre-exhaust the chest before I go into compound movements. Um, if you are a person or an individual who struggles to feel the chest, I do recommend doing this at the beginning of your workouts on your chest days or on your push days. Really utilize this movement to get that squeeze, get blood into the area, and really connect with your pecs because from speaking to people in the gym and from my experiences, it was very, very difficult to connect with the pecs at the beginning of my training. And as I've grown the tissue and acquired the tissue and then created that neurological pathway, as I've you know, trained for an extended period of time now, um, I can connect with the chest a lot better on compounds, but this really helps with that neurological connection and that pathway. So you're really able to feel the chest, squeeze the chest and isolate the chest without really taking too much of the load through your triceps and your, you know, your deltoids. So, Simple um, exercise, all you really have to do is get two D handles, set up the pulley so it's just above nipple height, and then set up your um, bench in the middle, you know, just below 90 degrees, um, and then really just make sure you are pressing with almost like a popping motion of each bicep together. So I'm thinking about popping the chest together whilst my sternum is up and raised, 
My scapula is retracted, but not too much to where like your chest isn't being activated. We're not really thinking about coming round with the shoulders because that's going to really put the front delt into play. And I'm really trying to avoid doing that. So the best way of doing it is driving your biceps or your elbows and popping them together and pushing those pecs together to really fire up the chest. So we're on to our second feeder set now. Um, super lightweight, just 15 to 20 reps. From there, I'm going to go into a heavy top set and do a back off like usual. That is how the workouts are structured right now. No intensifiers, just really utilizing these straight sets. Crank up the trap without the key. Say shit on fire, I got it heated. This bitch is bad, she still can see me. Open your eyes when you eat it. Oh man, that is such a good machine. So, this one, guys, isn't in the plan, but because we don't come to the shimmer lot, this machine is unreal on the pecs. You can feel every single fiber activating. So, when I come here, I like to do this seated plate loaded fly machine. You don't really see this at many gyms, but it's a very good machine to utilize for your pecs. Um, you can adjust the seat, so it depends where you're, you know, you feel it the most in your chest. So just play around with seat adjustments and play around with elbow placement on chest because it is a difficult one for people to feel, especially if you're a taller individual with wider clavicles. So just bear that in mind and just make sure you're kind of testing out the setup because setup is very important to execute your sets with the proper technique and uh, the right stimulus on the muscle. So bear that in mind. Just gonna do three sets of this because it's not in plan, so I don't wanna ramp up the volume too much. I just wanna get a good pump in the chest and kind of have a play around with this machine, really, to be honest with you, and get a good pump. So I'm gonna just do three sets. This is the second one, and then we'll take it into arms from there. So third set on this plate loaded fly machine. Um, I'm not gonna take this too heavy. Like I say, it's not in plan. So I just wanna do a few sets, get a good pump and you know, really feel the pecs. Um, in terms of the look right now, I'm definitely happy with the spot that we're securing. From the other video, which was a week ago, we've changed quite a bit. Shoulders are getting more striated. You know, we're digging that deficit a little bit deeper. We took off 50 grams of carbs on each day. So training day has dropped 50 grams and rest day has dropped 50 grams. And that across the board of a week has created a bigger deficit for us to then burn more body fat and to utilize, you know, expend more energy, which in turn is gonna burn more calories. So we're in a very good spot right now. Mentally, I still feel great. Not really flagging or anything yet. It is only week three. So I expect that to happen at some point, um, but I'm just enjoying it right now while I feel good. So we get a really good pump um, and just take this set to failure.
candy in the cup, gotta get paid, king in the streets, y'all nigga made, spreadin' on the crowd, take it to the grave, ain't having problems, I'm sippin' the bar, shout out to Dallas, my bitch is a star, nigga get rich, ready to take you to war, piss on your casket, shit at your bra, do you some nasty, roll you in a gar, bitch get graphic, fuck me in a car, I get your brand new roller tomorrow, I put that brand new roll on your arm, ain't gonna slow, but I'm still on R, tennis braces and they came with the frost, Cuban links all the way up to your jaw, step up the swag when I step on a bra, two dollars and a half, ooh that's the cheapest one, stacking these oranges up, like coupons, told you from never again, up an essence, I'm not getting the stacking up. Right guys, so we're moving into triceps now, and this is the crossbody tricep extension. I like to do this with just holding on to the handles without the D handle on. Um, just really think about controlling that negative and getting a full stretch on the tricep. So when you see people do this, and I've done this in the past, the, the shoulders might come up as they start to fail, and then the load is shifting off the triceps and going into the shoulders, so we don't want that. Um, I'm trying to keep my shoulders locked down in position. Elbows hooked to the sides and just break at the elbow and squeeze through that tricep. Slowly take the negative and we want to go just to the point where we lose tension, just about to lose tension or we're just going to touch and then we'll drive that weight back down and squeeze that tricep. Contract it as hard as possible and slowly fight that negative. It's almost like I'm trying to perform a rep as I'm taking the negative. So then I create even more tension throughout the muscle. So we're going to do four sets of this. I'm gonna move on to the next exercise. Just unapproachable, break by the loaf, turbo the motor, tick tick toe, kill another vulture, selling their bows, bitch do yoga, I deserve a royal, serving these boulders, a hundred grand large when I shop, that's a total, fill up the garage, bitch I'm a mogul, ain't no facade, ain't no fugazi, I jump it off, I get paid, drop to a rush, I'm going crazy, I put shop, smoking on haze, not trying to floss, cardiac shades, candy in the cup, gotta get paid, king in the streets, young nigga made, spreading on the crowd, take it to the grave. Ain't having problems, I'm sipping the bar. Shout out to Dallas, my bitch is a star. Nigga get rich, ready to take you to war. Piss on your casket, shoot at your bra. Do you something nasty, roll you in a gun. Bitch get graphic, put me in a car. <sighs> All the way to failure. So that's why we're taking these sets. Like you've got to be really pushing your sets to failure to make the muscle grow and respond. If you're not pushing it that far to failure, you're not going to change and you're just kind of wasting your time to be honest because there's only, only so much time to progress. You know, especially on a prep, you've got, I've got nine sessions now to my first show of this session. So nine more delt and arm days, nine more chances to make it happen and nine more opportunities to get better. So you've got to always remember that, you know, on a prep, your mind has got to be in it. Every single decision that you make leads to that end result and leads to the stage. So everything is very important right now and everything's got to be hit to a T. Um, and that goes just for any, any kind of training. So if you're training for a goal and you've got a you know, small goal, big goal, just put your all into it. Like you're coming here anyway, you're training anyway, just make sure you're going with intent and make sure you're going with purpose and then deliver on that, execute on that, even when you feel like you don't want to. And in the bigger picture, you'll end up reaping the rewards of those sacrifices in the long run. So always remember that and always give your all at everything you do in life because it does pay off in the end. Let me put you on game Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you say Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes Everyone's going through something that nobody knows Relax, stay in your lane, leave people alone Don't buy a car on a chain when you don't have a home don't worry about having a lot of friends, you only need one. Nice. So guys, katana, tricep extension. So this is a unilateral movement. So we're just targeting one arm at a time. That allows us to really isolate that arm and you know, focus on any imbalances within the physique. So if you're not doing unilateral movements, make sure you include them in your workouts because when you, for example, do a tricep push down laterally, so two arms pushing down at the same time, one is gonna take more of that load than the other. So we like to do unilateral movements here and there to isolate each body part individually and ensure that we're not you know, developing one more than the other. Because in men's physique, when you're stepping on stage and you're displaying your physique, 
You want it to flow perfectly. You want the symmetry. You want the balance throughout the full entire physique. So it's very, very crucial if you're competing that you make sure you're targeting each individual area specific to your physique and really picking apart your body like it's a masterpiece, like it's artwork. Because if you're not looking at your body and being honest with yourself, then when you get on stage, you're gonna stand out with flaws that you don't want to have. So bear that in mind, incorporate unilateral movements and take it all the way to fucking failure and beyond. Fuck where you got your degree from. Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you're saying. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane. Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame. Let me put you on game. Control your emotions, most of the time it's really not worth it. Don't be ashamed and beat yourself up for not being perfect. Don't be entitled, the world doesn't care if you think you deserve it. Right guys, so that is the end of today's delt and arm workout. We did miss biceps because I am throwing in back tomorrow. I usually do back on a, uh, on a Saturday, sorry, and legs on a Sunday and have Friday as rest day. But this week I've got some content to shoot on Sunday. So I'm gonna do back on Friday. Um, that was the original plan that Carl sent through, um, but I'm just gonna not do biceps today because obviously we're training back tomorrow. So I wanna keep my biceps fresh, ensure that I can take my back to complete failure and not be compromised by, you know, bicep doms. So we skip biceps today, we finish on triceps. Really good session. Um, you know, we're just getting into filming now, so I'm trying to film and I'm trying to really prep for this show. So we're gonna do some more videos as we go on. So I hope you guys enjoy all the content we're doing. Um, I appreciate you supporting the channel and let us know in the comments what you want to see because we are now back on YouTube for good and we're going to be pumping out content consistently for you guys over the course of this year. We've got a lot of preps to do, we've got a lot of shows to win or hopefully win. Um, I'm just going to put my all into this and really show you guys the journey along the way because I know a lot of you guys who follow me are either into competing, you're doing your first show soon or you're just really intrigued by the process. So I think it'd be really cool to show you the whole year um, with this being my third season properly competing and now really taking this serious. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we've got a few more videos coming over the course of the next few weeks. So just be mindful and look out for those. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.